Uh, I couldn't imagine. All right, let's do this uh, for real and stuff. This is the for real run. Y'all saw the fake run. This is the for real, for real one. You mentioned the bingo race, Spade. That would be pretty cool to watch as well. Look at that. Look at that line. It's the ticket. So I want to say two is like right here. It's right close by. <laughs> Coupon code, the Wolf VPN. <laughs> Imagine the stream getting a sponsor. We've only been sponsored by Snuckies briefly. Shouts out to Snuckies. by Snuckies Pecans. Are they pecans? Are they pecans? Are they packets? They're whatever you want them to be. Snuckies. For that rage outburst. <laughs> yeah. My publicist didn't like that. Got dropped from Snuckies real quick there. Ah, oh, bummer, Summer. Well, have a good rest of your night. Sorry, uh, Twitch is giving you a hard time. Hopefully the VOD works out. Never know. Dance of death. <laughs> Bell language doesn't align with Snucky's core values. It's true. There are only a few rules there. And one of them is not get mad at that particular puzzle like I did. True rage. Aw, oh, cripe, Siva! Aw, oh, cripe, Siva! Oh, jeez. We are out. We are not moving, but now we are. <clears throat> yeah, Peckins. I, get, I hear you. I hear you out there. I see you. Shouts out to all the, the Peckins out there. <laughs> Onto your bed for emergencies. <laughs> nice one, Avorius. <laughs> Took me a second. I like read that and I was like, what am I about to say here? bathrobe. Played the Telwinium last night. Let's go. How, what did you think? Just casually, what did you... I think it looks beautiful. It's like my favorite part about it. I mentioned this on the other stream, but if you hit the C key, you can actually change the filter that goes over the top of, like, kind of the playthrough, which is really cool. I like how it kind of imitates the CRT television or... or Kind of old computer screen. I think that's really neat.
And we go. Dead worm number two. And up. And over here. Over here. Six. Skateboard in Manny. Yeah, it's fun, right? Like, I just think that's such a nice little touch for a, a game jam game like that to, like, be able to play it with some, like, kind of cool settings like that. I don't know. I really liked it. It just looks great. Which I, I love. Just love it. But yeah, only a few days left on that, by the way. I think two days? We got two days left? I think Friday is the first here. Let's not uh, goof this up again. Yeah, it's not on fire. I'm aware of that. That's weird. I didn't get the... Uh... Okay. This is a little strange. I didn't know you could uh, look but not get the... That's seen there. That's okay. We're good. Aesthetic was A+. Plus. Yeah, I found it on accident when I was trying to find weird things to do on the speedrun and found that out. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. Aesthetic is impossible to se uh, spell, yes. 100%. That is a, uh, a tough one. Anything with an AE to start? Good luck. We're just putting vowels all over the, all over the shop. You know what I mean? But I'm excited about it. It looks like you know I can as the person modding it, we have gotten a few runs in, which is great. We'd love to see that. So it should be a fun one. I hope more people uh keep going with it. And I hope people are having fun with it. It seemed like a good fit when I was playing it before. It's fun to see some other people doing the thing, as it were. Salvador. Come on. What gets this here? I'm trying to find my visual cue. There it is. Yoink and yoink. Six here. Maybe should, normally, I like to slide to that, but that was a little clunky. I spell it how it sounds, but I pronounce it horribly. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a tough one. Those are one of those words. I don't think you're alone. Uh, we need a three here, please. Three me again.
that. That was keyboard movement right there. Let's go. It's always so satisfying when you manage to do it right. All right, here we go. We got a big slide coming in here and a chomp. Chomp. It's a bit of a squishy chomp, so it is what it is, but... Chomps. I'm not here to chomp, shame. Chomp's a chomp. Ooh, we got this on this camera angle. I don't know if I've ever had that happen before. Kind of cool. This is always a longer conversation than you think it's going to be because it happens. He takes it and then he says something. All right, a little gold. We'll take that. Again, this first uh, year was darn good. Good year. Okay, this is number two. Number three, we are looking for the fourth bone here. There's our big four. Chuck that one up here. Get uh, Glottis's heart free. It's such a weird concept. Like, yeah, Glottis, first puzzle of this, you escape the area here. First thing you need to do is recover Glottis's heart, which, of course, Glottis ripped out of his own body. So, yeah, this, is, this is how you do it. This is what friends do. Okay, we had a super good day last time on Sunday uh, dealing with this tower here. It's a rage inducing tower. Demons are weird. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's one, that's the, the easy way to go about it, right? <laughs> Just a bit strange out of context. <clears throat> but I think I've got a little bit of the timing down. I think the first the first cable that I gotta mess with is I feel good about that one. It's the next one that I feel like I've been getting lucky with. say that and I of course don't get it. There it is. Okay, definitely not as good as last time. And it looks like the uh Like the time reflected that a bit. That's okay. We'll get there. We're gonna get better at that. A darn puzzle every time. Hungry fist. I need to be just a smidge careful here. Because there's... So normally I try to get like a quick movement buffer here and I'll just kind of put my mouse over yonder here. But really I want to get move in here into the next area and then we can do the slide. While on the way up that way, man, he gets a good auto walk. So we'll just go like that. That'll do. Time to hit the lab. Exactly. Yeah, I need to... That's a spot. That's definitely a spot that needs to be uh, looked at a bit deeper.
Did I get the right thing? Yes, we did. Okay, cool. Well, I've got plenty of footage of me doing it right, so the good news is... Like, it's definitely doable, it's replicable, and I don't think there's anything, like, goofy going on with it. Like, I'm pretty sure that starts at the same time. Yeah, uh, it's all, you know, I don't know. It's consistent, which is what you want, so it means that you can get good at it. Wonder why they stuck three here. Three beavers. It is a weird thing, right? Like, having to do this puzzle three times. I need to uh, listen to that podcast uh, episode you shared on the Discord there, Casey. It looks pretty interesting. I don't really know anything about, um, about Grim Fandango. Other than, like, the bare, the bare, the bare bones, the bare uh, minimum. What am I trying to say here? Basically, I know nothing. That's kind of where I'm getting at. So I'd be really interested in knowing kind of what it is. I talked I talk to you. Talk. Talk to me. I don't know if there's any uh, details in there, but it does look like an interesting episode of, of whatever show that is. I'm not familiar with it. But anything that, that goes into these old LucasArts games, I'm always very interested in. Oh, that's not real. Be amazing. in your gears the other day. Oops, lost my sprint. Okay, here's where the time save may or may not occur. We've got the opportunity for once, so we're gonna do what we gotta do here. I'm gonna try to be super, super tight on this route. It's just not like 100% there yet. Like, you know when you're kind of learning a route for the first time and you're just kind of getting, getting everything down. That's where I'm at with this one. Year two is just very intricate. There's just so much to do in a certain order. So there's things things to worry about. Lots of things. What are you doing? It's really interesting. Do I do this now? I don't normally do this now. We're doing it now now though. But the problem is this will throw off the splits a hair. I don't think that this is a bad thing by any stretch. Actually, no, this is correct. This is what we normally do. I'm not crazy. You need, yep, you need to go. Go ahead. You don't need to pick it up. I just need you to walk inside. Thank you. No adventure games at the moment, genre's dead. Aw. 
Doing it for controversy. Yeah, that bothers me when people say that. Like, I try to be as, like, uh, um, I don't know, as understanding as possible because, I don't know, some people just don't know. And I love, like, that's, like, the moment where you can kind of, like, go and say, yeah, like, there are a ton of uh, great adventure games out right now. You can kind of be a good uh, ambassador for some of these new indie games and stuff. Like, just because LucasArts and Sierra didn't make it doesn't mean they didn't happen. And also the genre has evolved quite a bit. So I think there's still a healthy amount of classic point-and-click adventures out there, but also, like, there's a lot of cool sort of, like, I don't know, little innovations. Yeah, I would grind my gears as well. Yep. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. That's uh, that's a bummer. I don't know who John Walker is. Maybe I should know who that is. <laughs> but I don't. No offense to John Walker, I guess. Oops, this needs to get a little cleaner on the next one. <clears throat> Money. It's everybody's favorite new adventure game. I don't know what mine would be. A lot of good ones out there. Okay, this is litter box time. Oh, okay. King's Quest Adventures of Graham. Is that the uh, the game you were playing on stream the other day? I caught the the vod. Um... That did look pretty interesting. really excited for Locomotive. I know that that's not out yet, and we only played the demo, but I just thought there was a lot of promise with, uh, that game, so I'm pretty excited about that not out yet. I really liked Nelly. I thought Nelly was a good game. I'm a fan of literally everything that Grundislav does. Big fan of any of those games. Best will do. Was it quiet? Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, I don't think there was anything like, uh, not a lot of chat or anything like that. I think it was just some, some playthrough of it. I remember there being, there was a giant, like, mouse or rat or something. And there was a chest, some stuff. I had it on when I was working uh, the other day. It looks pretty interesting. Another 3D adventure, if I'm thinking of the right thing. 
So weird. I did not get a uh, a load there. Sometimes you get like a load screen, but maybe if you catch it early enough, it doesn't bother. Perfect tides. That's the one I have written down. I have that one written down for your um, your recommendation, Casey. Some of those games in the Discord, by the way. Um, Hobtor dropped a couple. You dropped a couple. There might be a couple other ones in there. Those look really great as well. So many good games. Six. Big six. Okay, I think some of these are going to be... No, they were all good. All good. Light, light, talkless playthroughs. Very cool. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta listen and hang out. I like that idea. Let the game do the talking, you know what I mean? Okay. This would be a really nice time save if we can... Um get the forklift to play along here. I need to watch somebody else do this. You know what I mean? Like, I need to watch somebody else do the forklift. That way I can kind of see, see a different approach. You gotta believe. This looks, this looks decent. Am I too far over, maybe? Might be too far over. Oh, God. Okay, we got in there. I think I was too far to the right. I think that's what happened to me last time. Cool, this should save us about a minute, I think. That's how bad that is. Dark Side Detective, yeah, that's on my list as well. I enjoyed the speed runs for what it was worth there. Yeah, there we go. Literally about like a minute we just saved. Such an annoying section. <laughs> but yeah, Dark Side Detective looked good. I keep reading more and more about that game as well. It's got like some. Everyone's like, oh, it's like Twin Peaks. If Twin Peaks was an adventure game, and I was like, I like the sound of that. So, kind of neat. Looked cool. Looked to have a little bit of humor in there. I like the way it looks. Seems neat. Maybe a good spot on the diagonal yellow-black lines to help you line that up every time. You're probably right. There's probably a good uh, visual cue. That's, yeah. Well, this is the time of the stream where I say, uh... I should make a save there and, and work on that. Like, actually work on that, uh, that spot. And then I never do it. So this is also the point where I don't come through on that. Pushing Up Roses video. I haven't actually watched it, no, but uh, <laughs> I saw it on Twitter. But I'm pretty sure they did a video on Gabriel Knight that I watched while I was playing that casually the first time. So familiar with the creator. I'd like to start making some some YouTube videos on the side. I need time. Esky time. Inspector Waffles. That's another one I gotta give a shot uh, to. On another weekend. Overboard. I haven't played a single one of those. I, I gotta step up my adventure games. Part of that is speedrunning. So I've played, in the meantime, I've played Grim Fandango for about a thousand hours now. <laughs> Sam and Max hit the road. So I'm getting my adventure games in there, but I'm also playing the same game over and over again. I gotta get, gotta get a little bit better at that maybe, but...
I just have so much, so much fun doing it. But it has been a little bit since we've done a, a, a cash playthrough. We did, uh... Did Sam and Max. Maybe we'll sneak one of these other ones, these other suggestions in there very soon. We gotta do things still, right? We have things to do. Is this lighthouse time? Yeah, we're lighthousing now. Ba -doo 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 -doo. Okay, we need to go eight. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Thank you very much. No way to really prep this. I'll have to keep it moving. That's good enough for me. Okay, jacket time. I am not familiar with that, actually. <laughs> that is a funny title, though. I just forget to prep. I need to prep that little card there. If I can do that on the way up and just walk in. The door is open, so... Looks like I have a lot to check out tonight. Too many things. Big slide! I should have gone a little bit further back, but that's okay. And Yui. Whole team. Go, buddy. You can start running. You can run. Okay, a little bit of this will do you good. Okay, we're gonna go here, we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave again. Now I think we're doing tattoos, right? Tattoo time? Yeah, I think, I think it's tattoo time. Skip the cutscene. Later, alligator. <laughs> Out of context, that sounds so funny. These, like, little lines. Alright, let's go. What is Manny looking around for? Like... What are you, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get back there. Check the fridge, buddy. I guess you can't move past him when you're getting... When he's taking a drink, I guess? What do you mean you don't want to? You're gonna want to do that. You're gonna want to do this. Okay. That was a better cycle, at least. Right on cue. So what we are going to do here, go right into it. I'm 
that's the best way to go through that section there. I just gotta remember I gotta do that same thing with Nick. I change that around as in the like the tattoo area I've done I'm just getting a bit more comfortable I think with um, my movement there like trying to really rush over to trying to rush over to um, the fridge a little bit earlier um, and, I don't know, trying to be quicker on um, poisoning the drink. I say poisoning the drink. Here we're not doing anything too vile. Just you know, knocking them out a little bit. It's all for all in good fun. Ooh, that's good. Oh, there's speedruns of it as well. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I've done a little bit different. I mean, I'm getting better at it, and, um... Yeah, I don't know. The more comfortable I get, the better it is. Um, the other thing that kind of has changed from the early runs, at least... Oh, hello. Um, would be doing the inventory directly at the beginning. Like, as soon as I get the, the dog tag from Naranja, I, uh, immediately switch over to the poem that way i can just walk over to uh velasco or not velasco the other guy Nota santos i think this is six right am i crazy i am crazy it's seven always do this lots of mini games true ending oh cool okay Mini games. I could go either way with mini games. <laughs> that sounds like a an interesting endeavor. Oh, Ramek. Hope you're doing all right. Go fast. I will. Um, oh yeah, we leave right away out of here. Just kind of sit over here on the left part of the screen. And we are just going to do the, the tables here. So we are running against the worst possible RNG for the tables. So worst case, we're even. So that's something nice. That's something nice. Okay, not okay. Second board, second board's okay. It's better than third. Sorry for the noise here. I just kind of want to get through this thing. Apologies for the, the angry buzzing. As you do. Okay.
Down periscope. Down and up. Nope. Go. I don't know why I always forget to do this part. I guess it's the only part without a butt. Or like a device. Goop around stuff around. I don't know. I always do it though. The scythe. The banana picker of the Grim Fandango world. Er. Did we get a bad Chapito on this as well? I think we did. Not a terrible second board. Yeah, I think it's, uh... I think I can go quicker as well. Um, like, if you skip through the text a bit faster, I think that, that you can get the, I don't know, the roulette to spin a little bit faster, maybe? I don't know. This little lot of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Right, we gotta head to the moon now. Are uh, we gonna set up like here? I think actually, if we go where Manny is, a little above that. Interesting, we walked right through the bump there. That's, that's good. Okay, we need to be careful here. We can get stuck in these little red things as well. So you gotta wa watch yourself here. Check yourself before you may wreck yourself. Go in the door, buddy. Nope, no. Nope. Okay, good. It's like, Manny, how could you? Baby, baby clonk. Well, clonk. It's the, you know, not, nothing too offensive. A little dink. It's more of a dink. Okay, come on early. Second try. Was I? I might have been too fast. Too fast for that particular one. Imagine. Too fast on the speed run. Okay. The little chipper ready. Shouts out the little chipper.
Okay, it's tumbler time, folks. Get your tumblers ready. It's, it's tumbler time. Here. It's, 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 it's a tumbler time. Doesn't look great, but who knows? Well, why not? Probably not. How you doing? How are you doing? I think uh, that might have been a pretty decent tumbler. How about it? I love to see it, folks. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but that's uh, that kind of tumbler. Get us into some good times, I think. far to the right. This is kind of a picky spot to drop this axe. Playing some Sims 4 and a Sim asked me for my opinion on whether to pursue their dream job and they responded the next day. I did it. Now I'm one step closer to my dream job. <laughs> Person is now a dishwasher at a restaurant. I wish I had that kind of um, I don't know. Excitement. Welcome on in, Archie, by the way. Hope you're good. Boy, the amount of time that I spent playing The Sims back in the day. Whew. That is a game. Many, many a moon, my friends. Many a moon. I thought you said hi. I might have missed you. It might be on me. But welcome on. Either way, hello again. It's good to have you here, Archie. What's up, Davismo? Yeah, fourth place. It's real. I can't believe it. We're doing really well with this speedrun, I have to say. I'm very pleased with the progress so far. Yeah, it was me trying to do that very, very fast. And we did we did it fast. I think we we've reached some fastness there. It wasn't perfect. We saw the um like the menu screen there a little bit. We could probably avoid that on the next one, but pretty good. It's tough because it's down, skip, down, skip, up, skip, down, skip, up, skip, right. Then down, and then up again. They're down, then enter. It's just a thing. It's a crazy thing. Okay, and this one we just go like this. Get through this cutscene, get through that cutscene, skip this whole fight. Anything to do with this. And then, uh, yeah, I think uh, that is where we leave off here. I think we go down and do this first. I could be totally wrong, but this is how we're going to do this. And I think I did do it backwards, but that's fine. Hey. Oh no, we get warped up here. This is definitely better. Getting better every run, that's... exactly. It's a journey. I really have been loving the speedrun, though. I don't know if I always talk about it, but I'm, I've really, really enjoyed this one so far. And there's plenty, plenty of road ahead, um, so it's been really good. But I appreciate all the support, folks. Oh, 
Oh, we don't, uh... I'm gonna need a mug. Can't hang the paper on the mug rack. Pro tip for y'all. That's not adventure gaming. Yeah, we're making good progress. And like I said, I think there's a lot of stuff that I just don't know yet. Like, this next session of VOD review is going to be so valuable, I think, because I kind of understand the game more. I, I kind of understand how the movement works. I know the buttons, the little, tr you know, tricks, how it feels. And those are things that, like, when you're first learning to run, you don't really, um, you don't really pick up, you know? I really need to exit this room. Please, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, a recent example is when I was just doing Sam and Max, like, getting in there and trying to learn all that stuff, and then sitting down and, like, legit looking at Mad Monkey Mud's run. And realizing, like, look at all the little things they're doing with the inventory, like, you're like, wow, that's really, really good. And then you kind of appreciate it even more. Then you see Mike do all that stuff that he did on his runs, and you're just like, oh my, like, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. You really, really appreciate all the little things about it. And this one's no different. Like, it's been really nice just learning everything. I don't know. There's there's a lot to this run. This one's a heck of a lot longer than the other ones as well. So there's just more to more to learn and more to pick up. And, you know, it's all good. I love speedrunning. It's just the best. As soon as you can appreciate the journey, as as yeah, as I call it there, and, and the whole thing, like that's when that's when you can really really take off and do some cool stuff. I don't know. Like we've seen a lot of really good, you know, improvements so far. But oops, forgot about this conversation. But it's always nice. I don't know. It's continuing to get better. We're learning. Always learning. I think this area behaves differently this time around than it did um, in the past. So I did find out that you can initiate that conversation with Gladys over here consistently on this side if you don't um like i just did that there as well but if you stand in that area and you look at glottis and just like do your action key like use i guess your use key um you can avoid having to walk from the front of glottis back because you will always take this conversation in this spot but if you do that verb there it's, uh, it'll, you know, you don't have to move as much, basically. It's a weird improvement. Yeah, well, there's a go. That's a split, sorry, it was a bit late. It's, uh, Meche. How are you doing? See you in a little bit. There you go, little guy. There you go. So I think this fellow leaves here. Skip that and we ooh, we roll. Right. So we need the coffee first. Gotta make sure you're controlling Manny on the, the ladder here, because that is not an auto movement. You actually have to tell him to go up. So that's something you gotta keep in mind, I suppose. 
This is the same way. Even though that has an arrow, it'd be like, yeah, you want to leave, right? But you need to move Manny up the ladder. He'll actually leave. Showbiz coffee time. I'll take that. Okay, perfect. This is good. We're doing all right here, folks. Let's get a quick slide here. Once I get control, thank you. Okay. Heading on out. This has been a pretty good run so far. We still have this very scary gator golf thing to do here. Uh, we're moving to six, now we're moving to three, four. Okay, I can actually skip that whole scene. I actually did not know that. Okay, uh, four, enter, space, P. P can, all right. Run. Cool. Almost out of the woods here, folks. Almost. Okay, we need to do four here once again. Space. Crunch. Oh, hello. What's up, Grogan? You're doing all right. Joining us on a slightly spicy run. Now we're gonna head over to the left here. Spicy boy. I think, I think you're right. So pretty good. That was a uh, gold gold gator. Got a phase through uh, the matrix here. Wow. Okay. Sorry. I thought it soft locked. Got very worried there. That was a very very serious gasp I just had. For some reason, something felt weird for a sec. And I thought it was crashing, and I was like, I can't, my heart cannot take it right now. We're fine. Perfect. I got two very quick conversations with the uh, unicycle guy, which is uh, awesome. Although, I don't think there's anything to get him to do this any faster. I think we're kind of stuck with that. That's okay. We can take a little tea break there. Not too shabby. This section was super scary when I was first learning the speedrun because... If you're not quick enough there, Charlie will actually take, like, throw the blanket off. And then you have to do it again. Obviously, that's a bit of a time loss. And it used to feel very, very, uh, 
like very tight. I don't know. It's a tough one. Definitely ready for a token party. You go enjoy yourself, buddy. Okay, we're just gonna do a quick Yui here. We're gonna get schmoovin. Okay, we got that first number up there. Whatever the other one is. So 14 is the magic number. So we gotta go two first here. And double ones. We go three. Take it home from three. Country three, take me home. West Virginia, the place in the USA. I don't think I actually even know that song for real. I just know that particular part. I didn't even get that right. Okay, we're just getting ready to schmoove here. You can see that cursor's going ham here, and that's just to set the guy off right here. Okay, here we go. Gonna fa phase through the wall there. Uh, get on up, and we are gonna do. I think this is three, then five. I think. The fancy feast, take fancy feast, take me home to the litter box. Come along into West Virginia, yeah. That's I think that's my play as well. The only thing I really remember is West Virginia. Take me home. Fancy feast. Take me home. West Virginia. Something mama. Yeah. That is it, isn't it? <laughs> Official. It's a remix right here. Please, uh, no copyright strike on my channel, please. My beautiful singing voice. I regularly sing country roads at your fiance. I like that it's at your fiance. Because that kind of implies that. Your fiance wants nothing to do with it, which is kind of funny to me. <laughs> I do that with Danger Zone with my wife. I uh, so sometimes start singing Highway to the Danger Zone quite a bit, and it drives her nuts. I bet it's funny. We're on the same page, but <laughs> I'm not harassing her. But it's kind of just a funny thing that we do. My approach to 12 days of Christmas. Is that the... Just and a, a partridge in a pear tree, you just toss that one in, because that part is, like, the most repeated part. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. What is going on with you? Ed Sheeran over here, yeah. Uh, my secret's out. I forgot I told that story on uh, on stream. Yeah, it's true. I am Ed Sheeran, actually. Can do the numbers. Yeah, I guess the numbers are consistent. You know, there's twelve all in all, so you kind of just have to count down, right? 
five is gold ranks. Oh, right, that one, that's the kind of, like, pause. Not pause, but kind of changes the, the pace a little bit on that one. The rest is mumblecore. <laughs> I love it. Alright, gotta get through this last cutscene. Boom, see you later. How you doing? We had an incredible final uh, split here. So I'm not surprised that I'm losing time. It's not like I did bad or anything. That's uh, Actually, I think that was probably a second. Second in the other direction, but it's fine. The, the, the PB music mixed in with whatever's playing in this last cutscene is so dissonant. I love it. It's quite a uh, quite a good celebration. <laughs> Thank you all for the GGs. That is a nice little PB there. Some of best now in the low 103s. Hmm. I like that. So if we were to get that, uh, that would be second place by a decent amount, about half a half a minute or so, over uh, TKS. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you for the GGs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 